Well, we are back. The final two chapters or three chapters of this game left. We're going to finish it and then we're going to move on. Yeah. See what we've got cooking in this game. I'm trying some new microphone settings again. <laughs> I swear to God, every video if I can change it. But I'm just trying to find the perfect balance between like sound, the quality of the sound, and also the um, like the background noise as well, like the keyboard and the mouse clicks and the bullshit and all that stuff. Don't want that because none of us even have a sniper now. Yes, yeah, so I'm just trying to find something in between where it's quite good. Um. Bam! Also, we've got the L Hawk as well. Basically, the uh, shit fire. Basically, the Desert Eagle. Oh, fucking people up there at the moment. But I don't have unlimited ammo, so I've literally filled my inventory full of fucking magnum ammo. I think I have to shoot this guy. Okay. Well, I was going to shoot him in the leg, but he died either way. I don't think it really matters with that dude. And uh, I would say the last, I want to say like six episodes. Fuck you, bitch. Chuck that grenade at me. The last six episodes have been like, I recorded them yesterday. And it was like super late at night. Oh, I do have a sniper. What a cop. Yeah, it was recorded super late at night and I was getting quite tired. And obviously I was a bit low on the old energize. So that's why... It seems like those videos were not as not as good as what they normally are. Don't be reckless. Don't be reckless. Looting this shit, flash grenade. That would be good for like those enemies that transform into the fucking weird jaw thing that like splits in half. Oh, doggies. Oh, we got a neck. A neck. How? Shepard just healed me, bro. Why you gotta do me like that? See, this is why I want unlimited ammo, because it's just like... It's so shit. Carrying, like, filling your inventory full of ammo. Oh, that dog didn't die. Hello? What? Yeah. And also, I'm testing out Shadow Play as well. Oh, here we go. He's going to transform into that fucking thing. Too much zoom. Oh, don't punch me, bitch. Yes, I'm testing out Shadow Shadow Play. And that guy's just tanking everything, bro. Reload. So I'm hoping Shadow Play's going to be better. So I normally use OBS, but the settings I've got with OBS at the moment, like the file sizes are insane. And I sort of, I kind of want to keep my recording software and my streaming software separate. I don't know why I picked that up, Shepard's the only one with a machine gun. Yeah, so I want to use like um, OBS for streaming and then like Shadow Play for recording. I don't know why, it's just something I like what I do. I want to sort of keep them separate. Plus, Shadow Play, like when you record a separate, like, say, like, I recorded Resident Evil 5, it would make a folder on my computer called Resident Evil 5. And if I went and played Metro and recorded that, it would make a Metro folder and keep them all separate. And I really like that. Now, OBS is doing something similar to that where they. where they um, have separate folders, but they only, the way they do it is they have folders for each day, and that's it. Like they don't separate it by a game, and that's what I kind of want to do. I want to separate it between the games just to make it easier, I guess. And I mean, like, um, because Shadow Play and OBS both record in like a variable bitrate, 
not variable bit rate, variable frame rate. Uh, Premiere Pro is not really a fan of that because it's it's never like properly synced. You, you have to like put the file through handbrake. Um, yeah, so you have to put the file through handbrake to like make it a constant 60, and then. Um, that will then all line up in Premiere Pro, like on the timeline. But I've found that it's not actually like ever out of sync sort of thing. So, but I might try some new software like um, like uh, Resolve or something, like DaVinci Resolve. I was thinking about trying that. Um, because I was testing out um. Magic's uh, Vegas Pro because I used to use it when it was called uh, Sony Vegas um, back in, and that was back in the day that was and um, I thought I'd give that a try but it's, oh, it's so much worse than Premiere Pro like features wise and just the oh god hiccups and just the way it like it works as, as a program in general it's just a lot worse than Premiere Pro. So, they've got a free version of um, DaVinci Resolve, but um, I might try that out to see what it's like actually editing a video in that program. And if I can get on with it quite well, then I might actually switch to that. And I want to see what the render times would be in DaVinci Resolve as well compared to Premiere Pro. Because at the moment, um, currently it would take about, I'd say like it was a 30 minute video, it would probably take about 20 minutes to render in Premiere Pro with the current settings that I've got, which isn't too bad. Um, back in the day when I used to record videos, it was either, or recorded a half an hour, it would take an hour to render. So, um, yeah, so, come a long way since then. So I'd, I'd like to see what DaVinci Resolve was like, rendering wise. I've heard um, colour grading in DaVinci Resolve is the best, but I don't really colour grade, so there's that. Oh, let's give her that. Thanks, Use this. Give me an herb. Use this. Give me that herb. I'll give that. Take this. Oh, actually, no. I need ammo. Use this. And I'll pick up this herb. Boosh, combine that. There we go. Yeah, so we'll see. We'll see. I'll let I'll let you go. Let you guys know what's what's happening. I've always wanted to try a um, Final Cut Pro, or just Final Cut. Where the fuck is it? I can't remember what it's called now. I think it's just Final Cut. But that's only for Mac, which sucks. Oh, they both got helmets on. Um, so yeah, it's only for Mac, and obviously I don't have a Mac. But you can make a make a Hackintosh, which is basically just running the Mac OS on on a wind on a like a fucking just a normal PC. But then you have to find the right CPU and all of that for proper driver support and all that jazz. Is she ever going on the other one? Ah, uh, I think I'll go over there maybe. Yeah, because I've got to shoot it down. Wherever it is there. Um, yeah, so there's not always like proper driver support for that type of thing, which is annoying. And plus, I'd have to have a dual, uh, dual boot OS, so I'd have to run Windows and Mac on the same like PC, and I'd get annoying switching between the two. Oh, the button's over there, what a knob. Yeah, so... It's trying to find uh, a good solution for said problem. It's not a major problem. Oh, hello dog. It's not a major problem, this is uh... This is uh... It's not good that... Ow! It's not, it's not good that um, Premiere Pro doesn't like wearable frame rate. 
Vegas um, is fine with it. All the audio and video are perfectly synced and they're the, the same like file, the uh, same length as well. Because in Premiere Pro, the game audio and the video is like like half a second longer than the actual like microphone recording and the microphone track. And I normally just cut that half a second off and then just fucking render it like that. I've never had any problems that way. Um, but it would be nice to where to use the soft uh, to use the software where it's like that's that's not even a thing that you have to do. But at the minute, my let's plays they're very minimal editing because I don't really like to do like heavy editing on on a let's play because. I like it just to be like raw, like gameplay and commentary sort of thing. But that's that's just me. Take it, Roger. Take it, Roger. Uh, if we find a red herb, that'd be quite good. Yeah, so I, I just don't. Yeah, that's the way I like it. But I normally do a fair bit of editing on like other informational videos, like I. Back in the day when I used to do uh, Savarium videos, um, I used to do like uh, put up weapon stats on the screen and have like charts and all of this jazz in the video and that's like obviously quite um, rendering intensive and also editing intensive as well because it takes quite a bit of time to put all that together so um, I don't really like to do that on the old let's plays, I like to just record it minimal editing like if there's loads but of shit that happens and it's like all office. fucked up then yeah i'd edit it all together and make it good but normally i'm just like hey <laughs> and uh fucking slap a video together uh, i don't really need a melee vest but i can't get rid of it at the moment and this shotgun's pretty ass as well actually to be fair so I'm only going to use it to upgrade it. Because I think you have to upgrade all shotguns to unlock the Hydra shotgun. Freeze! What's going on here? Nothing that concerns either of you. We're not giving you an option. Now spit it out. Tell us what we want to know and you won't get hurt. Where's Wesker? If you can behave yourselves, maybe I'll tell you. <laughs> Give her that much. What's this? Chris, is this? Whatever it is, Excella seemed protective of it. Yeah, so we've got the Wesker boss fight where we've got to shoot rockets at him and then fucking. and then um, inject him with the. Oh, serum thing, whatever it is that he's been injecting himself with. Because he uses that to make himself all powerful. So. F, open door. Oh, here we go. Get the old sniper rifle. Pow. Good work, Chris. Anybody else want to fuck around? Oh no, they set the alarm off now. Shot like both people. Come on, die. Yeah, boy. Easy. Reload. Oh, we've got those fat fuckers with the miniguns coming up. Nay. And I have no magnum ammo, so that's gonna be brilliant. That's gonna be brilliant. Oh hey. Hey bro, what are you shooting at? Hey brother. There you go, Chef. Oh, she's got full inventory. Never mind. Let's try the shotgun. I know it's shit, but it does fuck all damage. I don't know what it's like when you fully upgrade it. 
Oh, I'm out of ammo. Probably still shit. Don't be reckless. Come on, die. Come on, die. Come on, guy. My dude. You dead. What bitch is chucking grenades at me? Do that. Ow, what the fuck? You need to be careful. You need to be careful. Oh, we got there. Hey, bro. Is that guy there? Got some incendiary grenades there. Uh, hello. Why is he not stunned? Sheva, can I have that? Please. Discard this fucking shotgun. I'll just rebuy it. No. There we go. Oh. Forgot about that. Forgot he had a helmet. Oh, sniper ammo. Very nice. I like. Okay, this guy's. Ah, how? This guy's never fucking stunned. Oh, damn, Sheva. Oh, she needs that. She's got no pistol on her. She fucked that guy up with a magnum. Well, Elhawk, actually. Actually. Oh, this is that guy that transforms into here. Alive. I don't really want to use my magnum ammo on this guy, but you did. Oh, Shelby, you wasted yours. And all you get is a hundred gold from that guy. I guess I did two shot with a magnum, but still, would have liked a bit more than that from him. But ayo, hey up. Where the fuck am I going? The wrong way, apparently. I think this is the way we're supposed to go. Yeah, I'm on the other side where we just were now. There's that bloody dude that was shooting us with the AK. No, I don't want shotguns. I already discarded that crap. I'll have them, Chev. Give me a grenade. Use this. Thanks. Oh, Red Herb. Hey, that's pretty good. And got a green one to combine it though. Right, here comes Mr. Dickhead. How many shots will he take? Bang. 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 Bang in the dirt is not gone. Oh, what am I doing? I've got a sniper. Bro, can you die, please? How many headshots does it take? Oh my god, so I literally took 17 sniper shots, 5 magnum shots. Oh Christ. Discard that, oh well, I'll pick some up later, hopefully. Now I've got 2 full heals. Yeah, so it took like 5 uh, L Hawk shots, 17 sniper shots. I mean, Christ. Hey, talk about picking ammo up later. Very nice. Oh, I've got another herb here, but I don't have a red one to combine, so we won't fuck with that. Got to go to that safe over there and grab um, the second key card. Oh, the 
destroy these boxes as well, see what we get. Pistol ammo. There you go, Shiver. Roger. We have acquired said second card. I don't know what's going to happen when we have to kill two of those, um, two of those minigun people. RPG, I need that for later. Oh, I don't know why I keep trying to kill them with the pistol. Haha, <laughs> I can't see nothing. Whoa, bro. Ah, oh, fucking spiders, what a cock. RPG dude needs to chill. I, for I forget how the RPG. Hang on, I'm shooting at that. What the hell is that thing? Oh, that's one of those people that were on the. That was on the old um, conveyor belt thing that kept grabbing you. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, I don't know how the RP. Oh wait, they don't even drop the RPGs. Nay, that is not good. In fact, that is very bad. I'll have to buy one before the Wesker fight, I think. Oh, we've got that bloody... That boss fight with the thing on the ship that turns into a massive Uroboros or whatever it is thing. So, you've made it this far. Too bad you won't make it much further. The new superior breed of humans, given birth by the progenitor virus. The Wesker children were entrusted with endless potential. Of them, only one survived. You. Are you saying I was manufactured? I was to become a god. <laughs> Creating a new world with an advanced race of human beings. However, all was lost with Raccoon City. Despite that setback, your creation still holds great significance. <laughs> now my candle burns dimly. Uh, ironic, isn't it? For one who has the right to be a god. To face his own mortality. The right to be a god. That right is now mine. The right to be a god. You. Arrogant even until the end. Only one truly capable of being a god. Deserves that right. The right. With Uroboros, I have that right. Uroboros. S rank, look at that fucking shit. That's uh, what we like to see. So guys, I hope you enjoyed. As always, stay awesome. Till the next one, peace.